She doesn't want to be with me. She's divorced me all the time since 2015. So I finally stopped. I finally stopped trying to ask her to pick me back. Hello, guys. Welcome back again to my space. This is CZJ TV. If you're here for the first time, you are highly welcome. And my returning friends, welcome back again and again yes guys if you're not yet part of this family what are you waiting for please do smash the red button down there and also turn the bell notification by the side that way you will get to be notified whenever i drop any new video my returning friends thank you for always showing me love i don't take it for granted yes guys still on cora obd and her um let's say soon to be ex-husband dr justin in fact, um, um, honestly, I have to say my mind, I feel so sorry for Dr. Justin. Yes, we might not know what Cora herself is passing through, but um, the way I'm seeing the guy, I feel so sorry for him. This just coming from my end. According to that video you heard, he said he has begged her to take him back, but she refused and she seemed unbothered he oh the last the latest one he dropped recently on his insta story he said he will be filing for paperwork um this week okay that's um cora seemed unbothered and he he made a the write-up is much i'll be reading it for you guys to see um for cora cora just dropped a new video on her tiktok yes so showing off her her beautiful postpartum body just barely two weeks after she put to bed and uh, she really seemed unbothered and uh, this has brought a lot of question on the lips of people they are asking does it mean really that cora is just looking for an opportunity and the husband fell for it now she doesn't even want to hear anything make the continue some people are of the opinion that um her husband started this whole thing so um had does he expect her to come and um to take him back after the kind of word he used after coming on online to um share their um, dating line in public okay they said some women will not want to take such men back he said he has been begging her but he's tired let me just read it to you guys the way he actually put it out dr justin Rowe, he said i'm heartbroken anyone that knows me or watches me online knows that I'm a dedicated family man to both Cora and my children. This is honestly the hardest decision of my life, but is necessary. I'm walking away from this marriage for my health and to be and to be the best version of myself. I I must set a healthy example for my children. This has nothing to do with postpartum depression. I've been I've been betrayed once again and she is unburdened which pretty much summarizes our marriage my apology to the, all the young men and women that believed we had a perfect marriage marriage is based on much on mutual love respect humility accountability empathy apologies and most of all effective communication to understand the other person's perspective likes and views shouldn't be the highlight of your relationship man your health matters in order to be strong you have to be happy so he just dropped this one just some um, few hours ago or uh, just up to one hour that he dropped this okay so um this you know guys their marriage mainly is what they portray what they show or people online that people believe so a whole lot of people believe that these people have a perfect marriage like according to him he said um marriage shouldn't be based on views and likes so all those things where did they show us for social media na lie lie you yes guys going on um he also dropped this on his insta story again he wrote somebody um this uh question and answer section on instagram um asked me a question and somebody asked him are you still married to cora or um divorced he said i'm filing i'm filling pa paperwork this week I'll always be there for my children and wish her the best. This has absolutely nothing to do with postpartum, okay? Okay, this is coming from 
doctor just once again guys a lot of people have been asking questions why can't cora forgive okay this man said he has been asking cora to take him back maybe um he, he did what he did at the heat of the whole thing he has been carrying for a while he just had to let it out but cora is seems unbothered according to him that cora seemed unbothered about what's happening so he's going on for his health uh, i wish him all the best like i told you guys earlier on that i really feel for him if you understand what i mean i really feel for him honestly i do anyway guys cora is showing us a part of of her that is on border though i hope that's how it is really okay not uh, for the gram again as she continued to celebrate her book her new book cora okay um the as um amazon bestseller yes congratulations to her on that as well meanwhile guys people have also come for cora they told her to um the way she's coming out online just few um weeks after putting to bed she should take care of herself Stop dancing too much, take care of her children and see if she could work on her marriage. And Cora didn't take that lightly from that particular fan that gave her that advice. And she came back for the um, fan. Okay, I'll be leaving people to watch her. She actually spoke on a live video. She said people should stop telling her what to do with her life. They can only advise, but telling her what to do with her life is what she doesn't like. Let me show you guys that video. Um, I wanted to say something. I don't appreciate all these people telling me what to do with my life and my child. I don't appreciate it. You can you can say, um, you can give your two cents, but don't tell me what to do, okay? It's getting to piss me off. Actually, I'm, in a, hum I'm a human being. Don't tell me, go and eat now. Go and give your child now. Bath going to do no it's not it's beginning to piss me off yes guys i actually buy this idea as well yes she's an adult a full-grown adult for god's sake yes you can only give her a piece of your whatever you think an advice a two cent like she said but not you telling her how to run her own life and her family she's a grown-up woman and definitely an adult that knows what to do that um, she's coming out on the ground to do her live video doesn't now give people um the opportunity or access to talk to her any you can just drop your advice and move on not uh, telling a grown-up woman what to do and what not to do anyway guys um i still wish them all the best whatever decision they both come up with all the best to them yeah he who wears the shoe knows where it pinches him or her um, all the best to them. I wish them the best in all they do. So, guys, let me leave it here. Please do not forget to like the video, share, and also leave us a comment. Thank you, my beautiful people, and see you guys in my next video by God's grace. And do have a lovely day. Um, till see again in another video.